Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the jQuery hover event handler. And we're going to be creating a basic menu uh, in which when we hover over the items, we get a description of what the link will take us to. So you've probably seen this in a variety of websites. And in fact, it's an extremely effective way to show your user what they're about to see. And it's a, it's a nice looking effect and it's done very, very simply with jQuery. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a basic menu. And I'm just going to put a few different options uh, in here. So the first one is going to be videos. The hyperlinks hash for now, obviously you can choose uh, the hyperlink uh, if you're applying this to a website. And we're going to give an ID to this and that's going to be menu underscore videos. I can then go ahead and copy and paste this and I'm just going to paste this, uh, make three references of it. I'm going to put a slash after each one. So I'm going to change these values uh, just so we can get a bit of variety and then change the IDs that are associated with them as well. So as long as we've done this and, uh, and we have a menu that we want to show, for example, videos, code and forum, you can see at the moment nothing happens, the links don't go anywhere and nothing happens when we hover over them. So now what we want to do is create an area below and I'm going to do this inside of a div and that's just going to be the menu feedback. So what's going to happen is when we roll over a menu item in our browser, we'll have the menu feedback display a short description about that link. So the first thing we need to do with regards to the jQuery code is create an external file where we write our code. So I'm going to create a new file in my text editor and inside the JS folder, I'm just going to call this hover.js. So in here we can start to begin to reference these menu items and display the appropriate message. The first thing I want to do, however, is create a um, reference to this uh, JavaScript file I've just created. So the type is going to be JavaScript text forward slash JavaScript and the source is going to be JS forward slash hover dot JS. So now that we've included the hover dot JS script into our page, we can go ahead and start writing the code. Now, because we're using an event handler, we again need to reference the videos, code, and forum. I'm taking the short and easy way of doing this just for the simplicity of this tutorial, and I'm actually copying and pasting the code down inside hover.js. However, there are more uh, appropriate ways to write out the code. So let's go over to our hover.js file and start writing this out. Like I said, there are better ways to do this, uh, but for the purpose of the tutorial, we'll keep it short. Okay, so we need to reference our menu items individually. So the first one I'm going to reference is menu underscore videos. Remember, we gave the menu videos or the link an ID of menu underscore videos. We're now going to say dot hover and then create some parentheses. And inside here, we can create the function that runs when we hover over this menu item. So let's go ahead and write function, our block, and we'll just bring this down a bit here. Okay, so we can start writing our code in. We need to reference uh, the menu feedback div and then place some uh, text inside of this. So we reference this again and using the same method, menu feedback, and then we say .html, and inside here we can write some text. So with regards to the videos, we can write something like free video tutorials. Now when we hover over this uh, link, the menu feedback will contain this value here. So let's go ahead and refresh. When we hover over forum and code, nothing happens because we haven't created an event for this yet. However, when we hover over videos, you can see that we have the free video tutorials text appear. When we come away from this, uh, it stays. However, we do have another event handler for that as well. Um, so we'll discuss that in another tutorial. So now let's go ahead and look at the code and the forum. Now the short way to do it would be to copy and paste this down the page. So for the purpose of this tutorial, that's what I'm going to do. 
So we have uh, the men uh, menu code, and we also have menu forum, and we can then just change these values. So free, high quality code, and a help forum. So now that we've created an event for each of these menu items, when we refresh our browser, when we hover over each one, it changes depending over the one that we've hovered. So using the hover event handler, we've created a description of links when we hover over them.